Welcome back to another video. My name is Sparkman. In the previous video, we um, created this uh, pixel art about this um, incident that happened in Paris. This guy rescued this kid who was about to fall on a building. They are calling him the Paris Spider Man. Alright. And he kind of is, man. That guy's got like superpowers or something. Alright, maybe he's like a superhero or something. He's just in disguise or something. So today we are going to uh, create the um, sprites to create the game. So let's make the game. Um, so I'm going to show you how to uh, do game assets uh, from scratch. Okay, this video. So first we need to select the size of the screen. Um, we want this to be we want this to be a mobile game. Shamshun Galaxy, it's uh, probably one of the most uh, popular phones out there, or besides besides iPhone. Okay, popular uh, resolutions for cell phones. Okay, we got uh, 1440 by 2560, 1080 by 1920. Let's try 480 by 853 by 853 it's an odd number oh okay that gives us this here all right so let's bring in our background into our cell phone okay scale make sure you are using a nearest neighbor so it's not going to pixelate And there is our background for our game. Probably needs to be a little bigger. <coughs> there we go. So now we need the hero. And it needs to scale up. Well, not that big. He's on uh, one, two, three, four. He's on the fourth floor. Okay, and um, we need the uh, hero. Okay, just scale it up. Scale up the um, the hero. Okay, I think I have to make him in propor proportionally to this. Uh, the kid might be a little too big, I think. Make him a little smaller. Yeah, when you scale it down, it, uh, it messes up. It's best to grab another copy. And we are going to scale it proportionally to um, our hero it's about uh, three times four four times bigger than him so it'll be around uh, let's see it'll be around that size I guess we don't want it too small either okay I think that's about the right size there Okay, he is on the fourth floor. Let me just set this at to full screen there. I just I just want to see what this would look like. Okay. Uh, okay. That's not too bad there. Now to animate this at uh, this size is probably going to be a problem. So it's probably best to animate them um, small. So, but just let me just save this template now, so we know what we are um, going to going to do. All right. So it's gonna be only a simple game. I mean, I, I was, I'm still thinking of the game mechanics. What do you have to do? Um, you probably will need a a button or maybe just tap on the screen all right just tap on the screen um, 
What can it be the game? It was something very simple. Like you, you tap and he'll go up. And you tap again and he'll go up again. And, uh, but what will be the difficulty? Time, we can do it by time. We can have like a, we can have like a timer. Um, otherwise the kid falls. That would be one option. Um, another one would be to climb. What would be the difficulty of climbing this stuff? Oh, okay, I get it. We can have a slider back and forth, and you have to tap in the middle to climb to the next. Yeah, okay, yeah, we can have it like a, Yeah, we could do that. So that that would be something simple to do. So basically, yeah, it will be here something like um, like this. Give it a gradient. Put the effects here, and uh, stroke is fine. Just not that color. And let's see. <coughs> Gradient overlay. You can pick one of these um, templates. I don't like that blue there. Let me just change that for something else. And uh, I guess some sort of arrow in the middle. That's the uh, thing that we are going to uh, tap to move our character. And there we go. Something more visible. Uh, maybe that should be a yellow arrow. And there is our arrow. <coughs> now the arrow is kind of like in the way there. Um, which probably means that we have to turn this around. Make the bar smaller. Now we have to change the orientation of the gradient. Let's see. It's a 90 degrees now. Set it to 270 I think. 70 gives us the same thing. <laughs> All right, try zero degrees. There we go. And this will have to be pointing down. Maybe a little smaller. So this will move back and forth, and um, that will allow you to climb uh, faster. All right. So, okay, so when you click on the, um, when you click on, when you tap, it will advance. Okay, then you have to wait for the next thingy. The next thing we uh, need is, uh, is a health bar for the kid. Okay. He only has so much health before he lets go. All right. So let's give him a health bar. Health bar will be here. And health bars are green. Smooth, super smooth. Now I'm thinking this is pixel art. Maybe it shouldn't be so many um, gradients, but that's fine. We can combine. There we go. That's the uh, health bar. It should be maybe a little bigger. I think we are getting somewhere, so now we just probably have to do some animations for him to uh, climb up and the um, for rescuing the kid. Okay, so the health is gonna go down slowly and then you have one chance to advance. This thing is gonna move back and forth super fast. Okay, if you land on the middle, you can advance a little bit. If he lands on this side, uh, if he lands on this side, he will have less power. And if he lands on this side, he will have even less power. But you're going to have to try to hit the middle, okay? Um, sort of like Undertale to advance fast before the time runs out. Now, we're not going to trap the kid for real. We're just going to display a uh, game over screen. So I think that's the game there. Let me just save this. So we need the animations. We need two frames for the, um, for the hero. Now we could be lazy and we could just simply flip the um, thing back and forth and that will animate our 
Get it there. You know what? That kind of would work. <laughs> I'm always trying to find shortcuts. And uh, I actually think that would work. So we can probably animate the kid too a little bit. Let me see what can we do for the kid. Animate him just. Um, maybe he can just. Like this. And then we can. Simply. Flip him horizontally too. I think that will be fine there. Just um, have him. Um, Run back and forth like this. You can uh, pull the kid out. Okay, so w with the kid. Okay, so the kid is going to be happy. You don't need a whole lot of animation to. There we go. Get the kid. Okay, so that's all the animation we need. We don't need a whole lot of animation for this. So we are going to uh, just. Uh, how much do we need to scale this up uh, to to make it happen for? There is our game there. And there is our sprites, the correct size. So now we're going to transfer them here. Now, the, there might be a smarter way to do this, but that's how we're doing it today. Alright. There's our hero. It's gonna jump from. Um, oh, wait a second. Wait. <laughs> we have a problem there. This arm looks bigger. I guess I can just trim it there. That happens sometimes. I think we have the same problem with the arm there with the kid. First, let's make them happy. See? There you go. Looks happier like that. Anyway. Alright, so there is our sprites. And uh, now we just need to export all these so we can start our game. Okay. Alright, guys. In the next video, we are going to uh, piece this together as a game. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.